76% of businesses said that they have a shortage of leads for their salespeople or for them to speak to. Are you one of that 76? If so, then I'm gonna change that for you with an absolutely game-changing hack you can put into practice today to get more leads into your business. Now, before we dive into this number one hack, it's so important that you take personal responsibility for the fact that you do not have enough leads. There are so many different ways that you can generate leads. And if you go back and watch any of my Instagram content, listen to any of my podcasts or watch my YouTube channel, you are gonna find loads of game-changing strategies that you can put into practice today but I'm gonna share one with you today that 53% of people do not leverage and use, and it is the simplest one that you can start immediately. When it comes to building your business, the hardest part is getting leads into your business. I fully understand that. In my first 10 years of business from 2006 till 2015, I did zero marketing. And you can buy a lead, a name, a number, a prospect for around about 15 quid. And there were multiple different companies that came out selling leads to self-employed individuals just like me right the way up until 2015. And that was all I did. I never sent an email. I never marketed to my existing customers or clients. I never did any form of leaflet dropping. Everything we did was some kind of survey data, telesales team orientated, automated dialers, It was ridiculously hard graft that kept me working 12 hour days, typically from nine till nine, and fundamentally made me insanely stressed and insanely anxious, which is why I hated that almost seven figure business in 2015. When I started again in 2016, there was one thing that I have focused on that you can immediately start to focus on to transform your life today. Every single deal that you speak to Get them to leave you some kind of review on Google, Trustpilot, Reviews.io, some kind of main channel. My choice would be Google because it's completely free for them to do it. They don't need to have a Google email and it helps your SEO website rankings if you have a website. Are you interested in taking your business to the next level? If the answer is yes, then I've designed a scorecard, a quiz that you can take. It's only a few questions, takes roughly two minutes, and it's gonna help you to identify how to grow your business, taking it to the next level in five critical areas. And when you've filled it in, when you've got it done, you're gonna get emailed a report that's gonna give you your weakest areas, your best areas, and your areas that you need to improve first to grow your business to that next level whatever that means for you. So whether you're doing five figures, six figures, seven figures, take the scorecard to understand what it's gonna take to get you to that next level. Click the link somewhere in the description or in the show notes to go and do the scorecard right now. Statistics show that someone who leaves a review is more inclined to leave you a referral. Now, if all you did off of the back of listening to this and watching this was focus on getting every person that you do a sale for, to get you one other client in the next 12 months, you have literally doubled your business. So create some kind of referral program. I see it all the time in the life insurance industry. Legal and general saying to me, go and buy my life insurance, we'll give you a hundred quid. Yeah, you see in so many different industries, refer a friend, recommend a colleague, but have you got your own referral program that will incentivize the person who is referring, and equally, the person that has been referred to you. This is a real simple strategy and game changer, along with some of the ones that I mentioned earlier. Putting email marketing into your business, getting content creation out there. There's so many different strategies and tactics that you can use that if you follow my content, you're gonna learn exactly what they are because I give you all of the things that work in my business for free. There are only 27% of businesses based on 117 people that have completed my quiz about taking their business to the next level that have a consistent referral program. 21% have told me that they're still working on it. And I promise you that same 21% are gonna be working on it in another six months, in another 12 months, in another 24 months. You only get paid on what you get done. So off of the back of this, go and research other companies' referral programs. 
go and create a document, a Word document if you need to, a Notion document, a section or page on your website and create some kind of referral program and send it to every single person that you speak to and that you do a deal for. And make sure that you tell them on the very first conversation, I'm only as good as my customer reviews and testimonials. So one of the things when working with me is I like to get reviews and recommendations. Would that be okay that when we provide you with a fantastic service and you're happy with the outcome that you leave me a review? They will say yes. And when you've left that review, could you find me one other person that I could do business with? Yes. That will double your business in an instant. If you want to be cheeky, ask for three. But if you don't ask, you don't get. So make sure that you make it part of your sales process from the very first conversation, right the way through, you're consistently repeating it through to the completion and ongoing service of the sale and that you're putting something in front of them that reminds them about your recommender friend and you're periodically talking about it in your content and emailing your list to remind them to send, send, send. And as a simple one, put annual review calls in with every single client that you're doing business with. Speak to them annually, remind them that your business is built on referrals and that you need someone from them and they will always refer and recommend. I've just doubled your business. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Look forward to seeing you next week.